So this is an orange, right? It's an orange. We understand how it works. We consume it in many, many different ways. And these ones are mandarin oranges. And you may be familiar with these, maybe have these before. So they're a little bit sweeter and they are the grandparents of these guys, which are a mix between these ones and grapefruits, which I don't have on hand. But also these are also oranges. And today I'm gonna try these out. See which one tastes better, see if they taste any different. And uh, you can grab these at your local Asian supermarket. Have a glass of water to cleanse the palate. So we start with this one. It says on the package here, Orange King. Right, give it a shot. It's really hard. I would judge these oranges based on how easy they are to peel and how they taste. So this thing is whoa, hard as a rock. So we'll probably need to cut this. We got the IKEA pear knife. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna cut this open. So these look just like normal oranges. They smell like oranges. It has that. Let's try it. So I usually cut these into wedges. I don't know how you guys eat this. And then I just peel them off like the, like this. Yeah, so these guys are very, very sweet. It's almost like, um, you know the persimmons, pers 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 sorry, persimmons. Like these guys, if you haven't seen these before, it tastes like a blend between oranges and these guys. And it's got a very solid texture. As far as the easy to peel, you cut them just like oranges. It, it's not much harder, but they are very, very hard, you can see. They don't really squish a whole lot. So yeah, orange and persimmon, a blend between the two, and it's got like a solid texture. I wouldn't say it's the king of oranges, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Next, let's try these guys. So these are called... So they're from a, apparently from a special place called Ganping, right? It seems like a location, I don't know. But these are, I think I've had these before. They're very easy to peel. So they've got very soft skin that's separate from the fruit itself. I suppose the entire thing is a fruit, but like the uh, the petals here, right? So they open up like so, and these are pretty big. They're a chunky size, so you can just open these up. So as far as easy to go, easy to open rather, very, very easy to open. You see these the individual pods, they're fairly large, and it's got a very nice texture to it because each individual one pops in your mouth. Like normally when you have a regular orange. You, you can't really distinguish between each individual one of these. So this really more like a, a grapefruit or a yuzu, I guess that's what it's called, yuzu, right? So if you had one of those, it's very similar to that, but these are way sweeter. Yeah, so these guys are just like these oranges. If you have these mandarin oranges, it tastes very similar, just way larger. And then it's got, the skin's a little bit tougher, so it's a little bit chewier, and these have no seeds, which is great. Next up, let's try this guy. So it says here, uh, Hong Meiren, meaning the lady in red, I guess beauty in red, something like that. And, uh, but it says jelly orange, no idea why it's called that. Let's, uh, let's take a look. And these feel very, very soft. Again, they look just like normal oranges, but they're not. Or at least according to the label, it's not. So let's open up and see what we got. Usually I take off this bit right here, which is really hard to cut. So just. Take that out. And let's cook. Oh, these look really good. I think we can probably peel these if we give it a shot. Yeah, these are very easy to peel. Look at this. Just popped right off. Oh yeah, that's fun. All right, let's give it a shot. Uh, yeah, these are very, very soft. Like the, uh, the skin itself on the inside is very, very soft. Look at this. And these, doesn't smell of much. Let's try it out. Yeah, like the skin suggests, it's really, really soft. The flesh itself is very, very soft. So you can't really distinguish between the individual uh, paws, I guess. It's also got a very, very mild taste. Um, 
Again, if you have mandarin oranges, these taste kind of like a watered down version of these guys, but it's got a little bit more on the sour side. So more like the normal oranges like these and not so much like the sweet ones like this guy. So more sour than the, like the normal orange, less sweet like the mandarin. It's still pretty good. I think this is really nice and soft. So if you're into like really juicy, but not so chewy ones, these are great. Jelly orange, apparently that's the name. These ones, these ones are the ones that I'm most excited about because we've got a cat on the uh, on the package. I mean, <laughs> it works for me. Uh, but also the name of it, it's called Baba Gan, meaning like poop orange, uh, or poop mandarin, I guess. So that's the word for it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how I don't know how often you guys have food named after poop, but usually when foods are named after poop, it's either it's interesting, let's just say it that way. Okay, I was expecting to look, to have it look like poop, but this doesn't look like poop, it just looks like normal oranges. I mean, albeit slightly deformed orange. But these feel like it's really easy to peel. You know how when you squish it, right? Like just slightly squish it, you can tell the skin on the outer outside is separate than the flesh on the inside. So th those ones you know you can peel fairly easily. And I believe we can just go ahead and rip this open like so. Boom, and it opens up. And the flesh, like the, the skin itself is fairly thick. It, it almost reminds me of, again, uh, pomelos. I guess pomelos will be the name for it, pomelos. So it's like a smaller version of a pomelo. And let's see. Yeah, again. Very large paws, individual paws. Uh, the skin itself is fairly soft, like the paws skin here. It's fairly soft. It's not going to be as chewy as the, the large one that we had, or the, you know, this one here. But I do feel like these are going to taste probably a little bit more like a, a little bit sweeter. Well, let's give it a shot. You'd be glad to know this tastes nothing like poop. Not that I know what poop tastes like, but it tastes pretty damn good, actually. Let's try another one. Okay. This, this one here is so far my favorite. It tastes like how you imagine orange to taste like. It, you know how when you drink Sunny D, it's got that artificial orange flavor and you know it's fake, even though it says 100%, but anyway. The point is these taste like how you imagine fruits to taste like, how the orange fruit should taste like, that's how it tastes like. But it doesn't have that artificialness to it. It's got a very mild sweetness. It's got a high amount of acidity and it's got slight amount of chew, not crazy amount of chew. But also, you know those uh, orange candies that you would get that, that looks like orange uh, petals and they are completely fake orange flavor. It's like that, but without the fakeness which I think is really, really cool. Uh, so these are heavily recommended. I don't know if it's gonna be the same packaging for all of the supermarkets, but this is what you wanna look for. You wanna look for the poop orange. <laughs> uh, funny how it's called poop orange, but it's the best one so far. All right, let's go on and then move on to the next one. All right, I gotta cleanse the pile. All right, let's take a look at this one. The Tianchun Jiyou, or is that Jiyou, I guess. So sweet spring pomelo orange, something like that. So this one's definitely got the fanciest packaging. It's got a nice satin finish on it. It's a, like a, it's got a texture to it when you attach it. It's not like shiny, like plastic, like this. Not like this, but it's nice and textured which automatically give it a very high-end feel. Whoa, okay. Damn, this thing looks like crazy. Look at this. Look at this, look at the dimples. Look at the texture on that. Look at that. And this thing feels very solid. I mean, it's not as solid as the other one. And I feel like it could be peeled by hand. It's kind of hard to say. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make an incision up top, just cut off the top and see if we can peel it open. Uh -huh. So it looks very much like a pomelo in the, in the whiteness of the flesh. 
or skin rather. Let's see if we can peel this open. Yes, it's peelable, but not as, you know what? It's not so bad. It's not as easy as the other ones. Not as easy as the, the poop orange. The poop orange is the best one. Easy to peel, tastes great. All right, so let's see what we got. Okay, cool. So this definitely looks and feels like a blend between a pomelo and an orange, which is basically all of the modern oranges. I don't know, I feel like pomelo is a very Asian fruit. I don't know. Anyway, let's... Uh, yeah, it smells like pomelo as well, but it doesn't feel like one. It feels like the, the, the skin on the, each of the petals is fairly rough, so this is going to be quite chewy, but I think... Uh, yeah, let's give it a shot, see how, how it tastes. Yep, I say suspect it. The texture is basically like a pomelo, a smaller version of a pomelo, and the taste is basically mandarin oranges. Yeah, let's give it another one. Let's try another one. Let's try another piece just to make sure. So you can see here the paws themselves are pretty large, and some of these are pretty uh, hard. Yeah, some of these ones are pretty hard, just like a pomelo if you ever had one. So the texture is exactly like that, but it tastes like a mandarin. All right, we're on our last one, which is uh, this one here. So it says orange here up top. It says mu gua, what is it? Mi ding. Not sure what that means. Mu gua means papaya. Min means like honey. Ding means like little bits and pieces of stuff. So I'm suspecting this is going to, or at least attempt to taste like a papaya. And of course, I love reading the English on Chinese packaging. So like the best. I hope they did select the best, but uh, let's open it up and see what we got. Yeah, so here, it's so orange, mu gua, mi ding. Oh, right, it says here, sweet and tasty. I don't know if you can see that. Sweet and tasty, orange, and cream, for whatever reason, I don't, I don't know if that's got anything to do with this white, white cream. But anyway, let's give it a go. Oh wow, okay. So that's why they call it a papaya. It does look, it, it does resemble a papaya, right, in the, in the shape. So it does resemble a little bit like a papaya or like an American football, although it's a little smaller than an American football. And this thing feels like you're not gonna be able to peel this. It's very interesting though. And you also see these uh, coloring, um, discoloration patterns here. And I feel like that's, I don't know if that's like a packaging problem or what is it, but it seems to be all around. Distinct feature indeed. Again, we'll make an incision on the top just to see if we can actually manually peel it. Yeah, this is going to be really hard to peel. I feel like, yeah, yeah, not very peelable. I mean, you can do it, but in very small chunks, it seems like. And the skin is fairly thick. Again, reminds me of a uh, pomelo. All right, there we go. So now it's all opened up. Let's see if we can separate out each of the petals. I don't know what they're called. What are these called? Yeah, so these are definitely more like a traditional orange. The, the peeling feel and the way like a, just like a regular orange. And the little paws, they look about like normal oranges. And definitely tastes like normal oranges as well. Like the, the the problem with this one is that all of the taste is up front. So you got a little bit of sour, not so much of the sweet. It's fairly diluted taste, but there's nothing lingering. So some of the the other oranges, it's kind of got a lingering sweetness to it, which is really nice. But this one doesn't have any lingering sweetness. It's just got a lot of water, and uh, it's like a diluted orange. I mean, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's also got nothing to write home about. It's just like a normal orange, like a fancier looking, more interesting looking orange, I guess. But yeah, I would definitely say the cap with a cat on it, the, the poop orange or the cat poop orange is the best one. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. And this is the aftermath. <laughs> Look at all of these oranges. I've never seen so many oranges in my life. <laughs> this is great.